Cisco ISE Cisco Identity Service Engine ISE is a server based product either a Cisco ISE appliance or virtual machine that enables the creation and enforcement of access policies for endpoint devices connected to company's network in simple terms you can control who can access your network and when they do what they can get access to it can authenticate wired wireless and vpn users and can scale to millions of endpoints based on many factors including the validity of a certificate mac address or device profiling you can identify a machine and determine which vlan that machine is placed into any devices that do not pass authorization will be placed into a guest vlan or denied access to the network all this information is logged and you can instantly get a view of what is connected to your network at any time ise nodes the ise solution is made up of a deployment of nodes with three different personas policy administration node pan monitoring node mnt policy services node pan px grid depending on the size of your deployment all three personas can be run on the same device or spread across multiple devices for redundancy and scalability let's go through each persona and explain their function policy administration node pan the policy administration node is where the administrator logs to configure policies and make changes to the entire isc system once configured on the pan the changes are pushed out to the policy services nodes it handles all system related configuration and can be configured as stand alone primary or secondary monitoring node mnt the monitoring node is where all the logs are collected and where report generation occurs every event that occurs within the isc topology is logged to the monitoring node you can then generate reports showing the current status of connected devices and unknown devices on your network policy services node psn the policy services node is the contact point into the network each switch is configured to query a radius server to get the policy decision to apply to the network port the radius server is the psn in larger deployments you use multiple psns to spread the load of all the network requests The PSN provides network access, posture, guest access, client provisioning and profiling services. There must be at least one PSN in a distributed setup. PX grid node. The PX grid framework is used to exchange context sensitive information from the Cisco ISC session directory. It allows the ISC system to pass data to other Cisco platforms. and third party vendors this information can then be used to invoke actions to quarantine users or block access in response to network security events how cisco ice works ice has two different deployment options stand alone and distributed stand alone deployment this consists of one node which runs all three personas this is suitable for a small deployment or a lab solution if you ran a stand alone solution on your production network you have no redundancy distributed deployment small network deployments medium network deployments large network deployments small network deployment the smallest distributed ice deployment consists of two cisco ice nodes with one node functioning as the primary The primary node provides all the configuration, authentication and policy functions and the secondary node functions as a backup. The secondary supports the primary in the event of a loss of connectivity between the network devices and the primary. Medium network deployment. As the size of your network grows or you want to expand your ICE topology, you need to start adding more nodes and with a medium size deployment start dedicating nodes to login 
and administration. The medium sized deployment consists of a primary and secondary administration node and a primary and secondary monitoring node alongside separate policy service nodes. Large network deployment. With a large network deployment, you dedicate each node to a separate persona. So, a separate node for administration, monitoring and policy service. You should also consider using load balancers in front of the PSN nodes. As the number of PSN nodes increases, it becomes more of an administrative overhead to ensure even distribution of AAA client configuration. That is, if you have 1000 switches, each of them will be configured to point to a specific primary and secondary radius server. If all switches point to one radius server, a single PSN node, then this single node will take all the load and the other nodes will not be used. Putting a load balancer in front of the PSNs and creating a radius VIP will ensure all switches can be configured with a single radius server and the load balancer will balance the radius requests between all the PSNs. This is also very beneficial when performing software upgrades as a single PSN node can be removed from service without any fear of a switch being configured to have it as its primary radius server. Having a single load balancer does introduce a potential single point of failure. So, it is highly recommended to deploy two load balancers. The large network deployment also uses a centralized dedicated logging server. One node set up specifically for logging. This would typically be an appliance with a lot of disk space. A secondary logging appliance would also be configured. But in the first instance, all logging information will go to a central point. With a large network deployment, you have a dedicated primary PAN and dedicated secondary PAN, a primary and secondary MND. All logging goes to the primary monitoring appliance. The number of PSN nodes is scaled out depending on the number of devices on the network. Typically allow 7500 devices per PSN plus two more for redundancy. Due to the standard configuration on switches, where most radius servers will be configured as primary or secondary, there is a big potential for all devices to only talk to a single PSN, loading it very heavily. To overcome this, it is a best practice to introduce a load balancer and ideally a redundant pair which will provide a single virtual IP for the radius server. The load balancers will load balance the requests to all the PSN nodes. This also is very beneficial for software updates on the PSN nodes, which do happen quite frequently. For a software update, you just take a single PSN node out of the cluster and perform the upgrade. All administration is handled on the primary pan and in the event of a failure, would move over to the secondary which contains a replicated database. Cisco ICE 2.2 is a current version at the time of writing and will be used for all information below. Cisco ICE Licensing The Cisco ICE licensing model allows you to purchase license based on your enterprise needs. There are two ways of consuming licenses, traditional or smart. Traditional licensing is where you import a license onto the appliance and smart licensing is where you manage a Cisco account that holds all the information on the license purchased for your deployment. Licenses are counted against concurrent active sessions. An active session is one for which a radius accounting start is received but radius accounting stop has not yet been received. The valid license options are ICE base only, ICE base and plus, ICE base and Apex, ICE base plus and Apex, ICE base plus Apex and any connect Apex. Base license. The base license is a perpetual license and is the only requirement for AAA and IEEE 802.1x and also covers guest services and trust sec. 
a base license is consumed for every active device on the network base and plus a plus license is required for bring your own device byod profiling adaptive network control and px grid a base license is required to install the plus license and the plus license is a subscription for 1 3 or 5 years base and apex the apex license is the same as the plus license in that it is a 1 3 or 5 year subscription requires the base license but is used for third party mobile device management and posture compliance device administration there is a device administration license required for techx which is a perpetual license a base license is required to install the device administration license and you only require one license per deployment evaluation an evaluation license covers 100 nodes and provide full cisco ice functionality for 90 days all cisco ice appliances are supplied with an evaluation license